and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. Today I'll be drinking the Citrus, uh, no, Citrus, <laughs> Cactus Attackus Prickly Pear Sour by Hopworks out of Portland, Oregon. It is an urban brewery, whatever that means. I suppose that means they brew urbanely. No, probably not. Um, it's a sour. Woo it's a prickly pear sour. Interesting. And I'm looking forward to trying it. Hmm, it smells sour. Ooh, almost a kind of a reddish. That's interesting. It smells a good deal like I don't know if you have if any of y'all have had those, but the um, Ten Barrel Brewing has the Crush series of sours that are really nice, warm weather beers. They have like a they even have a Crush um, a cucumber sour, and that's a surprisingly delicious, refreshing light beer. Anyways, um, yeah, it smells quite tower, quite quite tart. I wanted to say tart and sour at the same time, so it smells quite tower. Um, but not like bracingly so, it smells like a kind of a fruity, juicy tartness. Hmm. Got some decent body to it. Like I just noticed the it, it kinda hangs up on the glass pretty well. The head is uh pretty creamy white. And since I mentioned cucumber, that's all I'm smelling now. Not really. Um, I could, might be able to recognize prickly pear in here. Uh, I mean, I've had other prickly pear juices, and I'd imagine I might have had a prickly pear beer or something. Um, prickly pear has a kind of a real nice, mild, almost like a tropical sweetness, um, in my experience. Uh, I don't know how much they have to... <laughs> concentrate whatever they squeeze whatever they're squeezing to get that that sweetness or how much you know actual sugar density there is you know whether it's like a, an apple where it's edibly sweet or like you know maple syrup where you have to boil it down to one hundredth of its original volume to get any sort of sweetness out of it but this smells good it smells refre refreshing um, it smells maybe natural as opposed to artificial there's not any you know chemical bite to this to the to the uh, the smell it's more of a, a mostly ripe strawberry sweetness rather than maybe a cranberry tartness you know like you, you smell a cranberry and you just know it's gonna be tart it's not like that it smells nice Let's drink it. Hmm. Okay, that's got a little bit more going on than maybe the Crush series. Um, there's a bit of cranberry in there. There's a few different kind of strong things going on. There's a syrupy quality to the beer. Um, I can taste the malt. That's kind of what, what you're left with after everything else is faded. It's kind of this, uh, just a few shades darker than saltine uh, cracker maltiness. Um, That's interesting. Um, maybe some unripe blackberry. Uh, the the syrupiness, uh, the tartness is there, um, but there's kind of a, a body to the tartness. It's not just a you know a pinprick. There's there's something else going on there. Um, 
It's a very interesting beer. A couple different layers. I'm not sure I would say it's super well mashed, the different things going on. It's more like there's three different soloists coming in and leaving at different times. And they're not necessarily singing the same song. They're not unpleasant together. But, okay, if you're into music at all, consider a, a group like maybe the Home Free Vocal Band, a multi-artist uh, vocal group that is designed from the ground up to be singing together, harmonizing together, and recognizing that the point of the group is all of them working together versus a group that's comprised of multiple soloists like uh, the three Irish tenors or the four Irish tenors or the whatever, 12 Irish tenors or Il Devo, which their voices are beautiful, undeniably so, and they are skilled at harmonizing with each other, but they are not practiced at the blend. And so while their voices are individually beautiful and the group effort is undeniably artistically good, um, there is a, a lack of the, the depth in the harmony. They aren't working together. There are three soloists singing at the same time or something like that. Maybe that's taking the metaphor too far. But that's how I would characterize this. It is not an unpleasant thing. It is a deliciously tasty beer. But I would say there might be a lack of balance in the three different soloists playing <laughs> in this beer. That said, I'm going to enjoy drinking this beer and the three other cans in there. My wife will probably have one or two. Um, here we are enjoying a brief bit of sun here in mid-June. We haven't gotten too much of it yet in the Northwest. It's overall been a pretty gray, <laughs> gray spring. <laughs> but uh, this is a very nice beer for when the sun is shining. And I suppose if the sun isn't shining, like it has been much of the time, much of the spring, this would be a good beer to remind you of when the sun is shining. So, on that, I'll catch you all on the flip side.